okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Hey you guys, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, I am Max. This is Life With Me Plus Two. It's typically myself and my two children here with me, Sarai and Xavier, but they are still with their dad for the summer, so um, they'll be back in another week or whatever. Um, if you like the content that I have been giving to you guys um, for my returning, returning um, viewers, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, come back for more content. If you like any of the videos that I've posted for my new viewers, please hit that subscribe button um, and come back for more content. Um, so yeah, so this video is actually just a quick little sit down. I figured let me just sit down and talk to you guys for a little bit because I've been in my house November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, eight months now, and I never came back and did uh, like a six month update type situation. I will do a um, updated like house tour um, now that everything's pretty much in here. Yeah, everything's pretty much in here. I still have to finish my um, entryway table. That table's growing on me, y'all. Um, so that's why I haven't really done that video yet because I've just been kind of not sure about the, the entryway table. Um, I mean, I ain't sending it back to Wayfair, so I just got to figure it out how I want to fix it up and how I want to design it, um, decorate it or whatever, and get that to you guys. But um, so I will come back with a updated... Um, house tour video once I put some photos on the wall I'm trying to get my kids to take photos so I can put them on the wall because they hate pictures um and stuff like that um I'm doing my closet right now so you'll see that as well it's been long overdue but I'm gonna get it done I'm getting it done um you'll see that um but uh, this video is an updated video so it's not going to be anything long or anything, um, but I wanted to kind of update you update you on what's going on. So a couple of videos ago, you may have seen that my fence was messed up. Um, so yeah, they came out, they fixed that. I ran it through um, my warranty and they came out and they fixed that. I have not done any more warranty claims because at 11 months, they're going to come out and fix they're gonna, that's like the last warranty that you could put in before the year, right? So my plan was at month 10, so two months from now, I'm going to hire a an inspector to come out and thoroughly inspect the property now that I've been now that it has been lived in. So I want him to come out and thoroughly inspect the property. And um, once inspecting the property, I really want him to give me the nitty-gritty the everything what's going on so I can put my warranty claims in and get things taken care of what's messed up so what's messed up here is <clears throat> my cabinet like the top trim I don't know if it was my fault or not but in either case it, it fell off um so that's messed up I really don't have much of anything that's really messed up. My uh, AC unit was broken or it, something was wrong with it. My neighbor actually, he mows my lawn for me, but he noticed as he was mowing one day, and I think I put this in a video before too, as he was mowing one day, he noticed that it was frosting over. Um, so they came out and they fixed it. I did call the AC unit people. They came out, they fixed that. My control panel... And y'all, I really need to call, and I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to set an alarm to do it tomorrow. But I have, someone posted in our neighborhood chat that there was a claim of, what is it called? Like a warning. You know when your car has warning sign, warning lights or whatever, and things are recalled. There was a recall. <laughs> there was a recall on the electrical panel. Thing, um that they put in my in my community chat on Facebook I never called I need to call y'all because I checked the recall and the number that's on the unit it was in the, on the electrical panel is actually one of the numbers on my my electrical panel so I really need to call them and get them to come out and fix that because it really could be a fire hazard it's been fine but I'm gonna call them bright and early tomorrow morning as soon as I wake up I'm calling I'm not gonna forget I'm setting an alarm you know what let me set that alarm right now um so alarm that's calendar let's go to clock alarm add for 
let's do 9 a.m. because I get up for work um, at 8.15 and start working at 8.30. So 9 a.m. call. What did I say they were called? Uh, maybe I should put it on the calendar. You would think I would know how to do this. So tomorrow's the 25th. Yeah, tomorrow's the 25th. So add, call. What is it called again? I just said what it was called. What's wrong with me? Um, electrical panel. Electrical panel. For recall. Okay, panel for recall. Okay. What did I say? 9.30. 9.30 a.m. A.m. And alert me 15 minutes before. And I'll probably call right at that moment and alert me at the time of the event. Okay, perfect. What you mean? Oh, that's stupid. It says start date. Start date at 9 a.m. Thank you. Add. Okay, cool. So that's done. So I won't forget. Okay, so where was I? So electrical panel, I'm going to call about that. Um, I need to clean out my daggone garage, but one thing at a time, Jesus. One thing at a time, Lord, I need to do this closet. So I got clothes sitting over there on my living room sofa that I need to hang up. I need to buy more hangers and do that. But like I said, I have not had much of any issues, but I always feel like that happens after the fact. Does that make sense? That happens after the fact. So the year year is going to be up. And then once that year is up, then I'm going to start having issues. But I've not had, knock on wood, let me, knock on wood, because I don't really want any issues. But the only issue I have is that my, and this has happened, this was beforehand. I just never put a warranty in. I figured I would just put it in towards the year. But when you turn on the vent in my bathroom, it rattles. I don't like that. Um, that needs to be fixed. I my shower door for some reason to me it doesn't feel sturdy so when my inspector comes I'm gonna ask him to see if he can get that checked out um what else there's some separation y'all I'm adjusting my wig y'all judge judge your mama oh Jesus okay that would feel so much better oh my god um there is in fact let me no I'm gonna leave it there is some separation between my my house, the foundation of my home, and my grass. And I'm, I'm assuming it's because Texas is super hot right now. Like when I say hot, 100 degrees every day, I'm going to insert a picture or something here that shows you the temperature for the week. 100 degrees every day. So I now have to go ahead and water my foundation a lot more than what my sprinkler system is doing. So I got to do that. My neighbor, like I said, has been super neighborly. He and his son actually mows my lawn. Of course, I pay them. I'm not that neighbor. Um, but they mow my lawn. And so he told me that they put fertilizer down. So to make sure, and I got to go do that now too. I keep saying I'm going to do it. I forgot. I got to go do that right now. Water the lawn. So I got to water the lawn. I'm going to do that tonight. Um, but he said that there's a dry patch in my front yard and my front lawn that needs to be watered manually so i have to literally get out there with a hose and for five minutes you guys would have seen this me watering the foundation in a previous video probably i think i'm gonna drop that before this but whatever and then so what else so uh la 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 um, one thing I don't really care for is changing out the, the dust thing from the vent, from the AC, like changing that out. My friend had to come over the other day and change it out for me, but it doesn't fit properly. And I don't know why. And I'm going to ask them about that too. I'm going to ask my inspector to see if that's an issue. So when we're replacing it, the filter, it doesn't fit 
properly so it like it bends or whatever the case is but the filter has to be changed out every three months i wish it was like one that has one big one for a longer extended period of time because i don't like going in the attic i don't know if y'all like going in the attic but i don't like going in the attic so i gotta call a friend or my ask my neighbors somebody to go in the attic that's just not my thing i don't know it, it's scary it freaks me out i don't like the attic um is there anything else that i think is messed up no, but I will say this. I think the house, again, it's my start over home because I had a home back in Boston. I had several homes back in Boston. I had a home when I was married to the kid's dad, which we sold when we got divorced. I had a home after we got divorced for myself, um, excuse me, when my mom passed and which I sold before I came up, excuse me, Ooh. which I sold after like before i came to dallas um but so this house i feel like i think my other home was poorly built to the one in boston that i sold before coming here but i also think they rushed these houses and this house was kind of poorly built as well so xavier's curtain rod has fallen down like not completely but if you can can y'all even see that i can't y'all can't see but you know the curtain or whatever is drilled in and it was drilled in and it was fine and then one day it just decided it wanted to boom, 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 and fall out so i have to kind of figure fix that raise that up and you know i'm a little itty bitty thing honey i'm five two i can't even sitting on the step stool i can't even reach that high so i gotta figure out find somebody to come fix that for me but I, I chalk that up to a poorly built home. Um, you know, they rush these homes. But this is my start over home, not my forever home. When God brings me my husband, then that's going to be my forever home. Um, we're going to build a forever home, a nice one for, for myself and my children. And if he has children, of course, and whatever the case is. So our family. Um, but that's neither here nor there. But that makes me nervous that that happened because my um, TVs are mounted all of them the kids have a tv in their room i have one in the living room i have one in my room so that kind of makes me a little nervous i'm not gonna lie um what else other than that i feel like things are pretty good so this is my not six months update but eight month update um i might as well throw this in there this has nothing to do with the house but furniture my fur my, my vanity and i'm gonna call them tomorrow too let me set an alarm for that too girl i'm setting an alarm for everything child I'm caught Nebraska furniture. I need to speak to them because when I tell you I had ordered my vanity, um, call Nebraska. Nebraska regarding vanity. Okay. So I spoke to them. I feel like it's been a couple of months. I'm not even gonna lie. I feel like it's been a couple of months. I spoke to them and um at the time of event, 15 minutes before. Okay. So I spoke to Nebraska about my vanity. The drawers are not staying together. And of course, I put me and my girlfriend put them together. So I don't think it was user error because some of the stuff, like the holes weren't drilled properly and what have you. So I think it's Nebraska's fault. Anyways, they sent a technician out to take a look at it. They went and looked at the looked at it and said they were going to order me new drawers. Then I got a message saying that the drawers were back ordered because there were delays. We're months in at this point. No drawers. Where the drawers at? Where the drawers at? I ain't heard from nobody. Nobody's called me. Whatever. But I ain't got nothing to do with the house. This is not that kind of video. So I just figured I'd put that out there. Be careful with Nebraska furniture and uh, their put, you know, the things that they got. You have to put together yourself. Um, but all in all, I'm loving living here. I wish I was a millionaire so that I can have a house cleaner. Because <laughs> I don't feel like cleaning up 24-7 behind my dogs, behind everybody. But you know what? That's living life, right? I'm an adult. I am 40 this year, so I'm living my life. And, you know, my goal and um, my goal coming to Texas was to always put my kids back into a home. And it took four years, but well, three and a half. We'll call it four. It took four years, but we in this thing, you know what I'm saying? And I've made my goals happen and I've been successful at doing it. Don't get me wrong. It ain't easy, honey. I'm a single mother and I'm making it do what it do and taking care of two children and two dogs and a home and all that. I'm a badass bitch. And that's on period. 
I don't care what nobody say. I'm a badass bitch. Um, I make I make shit shake. You know, a lot of the times, you know, I might have to hustle through. But this is what we do as women, as mothers, as single parents. We make sure we make things happen. So my job is to make sure I make it happen. My mama did it, and I did, and I'm doing it. I just pray to God that one day He let me hit that lotto, and I can set my kids up better. You know what I'm saying? So that's really it. I just wanted to come give y'all a little quick home update on Dr. Horton. Um, I'm trying to think if any of my friends, my neighbors come been complaining about just outside stuff and HOA. The HOA has not bothered me yet. I hope they never bother me, but I've heard HOA, you know, complaining about trash cans being outside. Technically your trash cans have to be adjacent to your, uh, garage or inside of your garage anybody putting no trash can inside the garage to be funky okay so it has to stay outside but i've heard that they've been complaining now adjacent outside of um by the garage the foundation the area is super steep so if the wind blow too hard the trash can't fall over that's a mess um so i know a lot of my neighbors have put like concrete slab down to, to take care of that little issue. But then I also heard with putting concrete slab down, it voids your foundation warranty. I don't know. I just put my trash can there. Nobody said anything to me. Like I said, I've heard my neighbors been getting letters. I ain't got no letter. I try to take care of my property as best as I can so that I don't have no issues with nobody. Because I don't want no issues with nobody. So, yeah, tomorrow, actually, I'm going to go sweep off my front porch. Um... I've been getting spiders a little bit, knock on wood. I haven't seen none in a while, so hopefully that's done for. What else? Anything else? Hmm. Oh, my my fog light outside on my by my um garage is out again. It was out before, now it's out again. So I'm just gonna buy myself some better bulbs and I'm gonna have someone change it myself. I, I could have I could call the electrical people to come change it again. But I'll just do that because I'm still under warranty. So I can really call and have them fix it. But I'll just buy some some bulbs and get that taken care of. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, it wasn't going to be a long video. It's the eighth month update. Eight months, y'all. Um, we've been in this thing eight months. And I'm, I'm super still excited. I'm still happy. Um, you know, my kids are happy. They're in their own space, in their own element. Schools are close by. I work from home, so I'm available and accessible to my children, and I love it. I'm, you know, we live in the country. Um, it's not as country in my neighborhood, but we live in the country. So you turn right, and you in the country, country, and you turn left depending on where you are or whatever, and you're in Rockwall, so, you know, or whatever. It's pretty nice. I, I like it. It's quiet out here. Um, I enjoy that. So, anyways, I'm going to go. Again, like, comment, and subscribe. If you like this content, this was just a home update. I appreciate you guys so very much for liking and for commenting and subscribing and pushing that video through. Watch them ads, y'all. Watch them ads. It really helps us content creators to continue to push out more content. Um, yeah, and it, it pushes me through the algorithm um, for, through YouTube. So definitely, definitely hit that like, like button and, and um, share, share the content so it could just keep pushing us or whatever. Run them views up for me and watch them ads, y'all. I'm going to talk to y'all later. See y'all later. Mm -hmm.